Gold Rush Chevrolet in Auburn, California is offering GM employee pricing on every new 2013 Chevy in stock. Plus, every pre-owned vehicle will be priced to sell. Use this opportunity to grab the 2013 Chevy Silverado. That's Gold Rush Chevrolet in Auburn, California. Casey, for the second time in three years, the Golden Eagles are going to the state bowl game. What does it mean for the community and your program? Oh, it's huge. You know, I you work real hard every year to try to get to the ultimate prize, get in the state finals, and uh, for us to be able to accomplish it two out of the last three years is uh, very rewarding and just very big for our community and I think for our region. Um, what I think was real special about this year is uh, with the NorCal regional game, uh, we were able to play ourselves into it where the last time it was kind of on a vote or that. So uh, we, we feel very, we're real proud of our guys. Our guys really, uh, you know, committed this year to, you know, win a league title. They did that and winning a section title, came back in the fourth quarter to win that and to beat a great Sarah team last year in the NorCal finals. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about their effort. Just real proud of them and just really look forward to our great opportunity this week to play a great Bakersfield team next fr this Friday night and, uh, you know, hopefully get a great 48 minutes in there and uh, do what we've been doing all year and find a way to win and, uh, you know, win our first title on the field. Bakersfield uses some interesting formations on offense and defense. What can you tell us about them? Well, yeah, they're very athletic. They've got four or five, six guys that are as fast as we've seen. Good thing we played good teams like Logan and Grant and St. Mary's. and They've got a lot of speed. Um, they run a, a flex bone, very similar to like Air Force's offense. They have a quarterback going to Nevada that's a, like a dual threat guy. Uh, they also have another guy going to another skill guy going to Oregon State that's really good. Defensively, they run an off defense called, a, I guess we're told it's called the radar defense, but basically it's a no D linemen or have their hands down. They have six or seven guys running around. They're all standing up, and they all kind of blitz and attack gaps. So it's something that we have never seen. Um, I thought we did a good job yesterday preparing for it, um, but it'll be something that um, you know we got to do a good job of uh, adjusting early to both of these schemes and getting the speed and the physicality down. Uh, we feel we have an advantage uh, up front with our guys. Um, and they got an advantage, obviously, with their speed. So uh, it'll be an interesting game with that. I think when the game's like that, uh, you know, special teams will be key, and we got to do a good job this week in our special teams. We uh, were able to turn a punt for a touchdown last week, but we also made some mistakes in our in our special teams. So we got to shore that up this week. Uh, just continue to do what we do. If we can continue to take care of the football on offense and not give up big plays for touchdowns on defense and tackle well, um, I feel we got a good shot this Friday. On the 2011 team, you had a lot of sophomores that were contributing, and now once again, you've got two sophomores that have been key contributors. Tell us a little about those sophomores. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Trey Adolfia and Justin Burrich have uh, had tremendous years for us, uh, you know, especially in the playoffs. And I think Justin leads the team in uh, interceptions. Had a big one last night. Uh, I mean, last, last Friday, big return there late in the fourth quarter to put out a fire. And then Trey's just been outstanding with uh, the big play potential. I think he's got almost 10 touchdowns receiving, but just gotten better and better every week and turned it into our go-to uh, go guy. And also just on punt returns and return game, he's been outstanding and uh, both of them have been key co kind of contributors to this year's success. Last week, Dylan Canrath credited the offensive lineman for his big game. And a lot of the offensive linemen we've already talked about this year, but we haven't talked much about Santino Garcia. He made an all-SFL first team. Yeah. What can you tell us about him? Santino's a great kid. He's a real hard worker. Brings his lunch pail to work every week. Uh, he plays offensive and defensive line. Uh, been battling some injuries the last couple of years. He fought back in the senior year and is doing a great job. He's uh, one, of, one of our leaders on our on our team. Um, great guy on and off the field. And, uh, you know, so we're real happy uh, what he's accomplished this year, all league. And, uh, you know, just a great teammate. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? Well, you know, we're just really looking forward to the great opportunity this Friday. It's been a great year. Uh, knowing that this is our last, we're really trying to enjoy it. Uh, we've had a great ride, a great uh, experience with these guys. They're great kids on and off the field. Um, we hope we're going to have a big turnout on Friday night. We need a good group to come out. And uh, like I said, we're going to try to put our best 48 minutes together of the season on Friday and hopefully win a state title.